Hi, my name is Yasmin, and today I'm going to talk to you about Google Insights. Google Insights is a free tool provided by Google that allows you to look at all Google web searches. It maps the data based on historical information, which allows you to compare search volume patterns across specific regions, categories, and time frames. Now, you might be wondering, well, how is this going to help you in your startup? Today, I'm going to take you through an example that can help you market test a concept, but you can also use it in many different ways. If you go to the home page shown here and scroll to the bottom, you can view other examples of how it can be used. Now let me go back to the home page and I'm going to show you how we're going to use Google Insights and how it works. Let's pretend that we want to create a website for vegetarians. We're not sure what content we want to include or what features we want to include. And we can use Google Insights to help us with that. So let me type in vegetarian here. And let's say that I want to include content around vegetarians, but I'm not sure who to target. So I'm going to choose other types of vegetarians to include here to see what kind of data I receive back. So you can see I can compare by search terms. I'm going to keep that the same. I can also filter out the data. If I want it to be worldwide, I can do that. Or I can target it to specific regions. And I can also choose to have all the data collected so far, or I can target it within a specific time frame. So here's a graph that shows me the trends of these keywords I just typed in. You'll see that the blue and yellow line here at the bottom have very low search volume. And vegan, surprisingly, at least to me, has very high search volume. So you can see from 2004 on, it's slowly been trekking upwards. These flags here represent current news stories that happen within that area, so you can correlate that with spikes in traffic. And overall, it looks like vegan, and anything related to that keyword would be a good um, source of information to have on that website. Scrolling on down, I can also look at the regional interest for those keywords. So I'm surprised to see that United States is down here at number nine, and it looks like India is number first. So how can I use this to my advantage? Well, I can offer my website in different languages, and I can figure out which language I should I should use. I can also use this in my paid search campaigns or my marketing campaigns to figure out which countries I want to target. Down here at the bottom, I can look at related search terms for those for those keywords that I type. So the top searches, these are areas I can make sure I somehow report on on my website or include on in my website. So it looks like I should definitely have some vegetarian recipes, include some different foods, uh, maybe have different vegetarian recipes targeted at different cultures. Um, information about vegetarian diets and it looks like I should also have some kind of vegetarian restaurant locator on my website. Over here to the right, uh, you'll notice that I can look at rising searches. So these breakout terms are important because they represent significant growth within a short time period, uh, which allows you to capitalize on a trend early. So. It definitely looks like I need to include some vegetarian fish recipes and a specific vegetarian dinner recipes, maybe. I hope that has been helpful. Thank you.